So, yeah, it's dark. Light quality is awful. But uh, this is the point in time when I have some time to talk. And I wanted to share this thought I had before I lose it. Um, because I think the right mil might really be something to this that could be useful um, when talking about or thinking about women's health specifically and the health of everyone in the modern slash Western world in general. So I was listening to uh, the Huberman Lab podcast, which if you don't listen to it and you're interested at all in health, wellness, fitness, longevity, um, quitting smoking, what nicotine will do to the body, slash weed, slash alcohol, whatever, uh, you should definitely watch it. Huberman, H-U-B-E-R-M-A-N, I think. Uh, but even if that's wrong, that should get you close enough to find it. He's got a YouTube channel, really amazing stuff. And um, finally, and, uh, and, and thankfully, I like, I'm, I'm really appreciate this actually, got on someone to talk specifically about women's longevity. Um, and he's done a pretty good job up until now, like quite a good job actually, of trying to point out where, where there is research uh, specifically about women and women's health in the various subjects that he's talked about or interviewed people about. But um, sadly, uh, often there isn't isn't research, isn't enough research, um, or there's just an assumption that men and women experience uh, the world the same way in cases where that's not true, whether it's to do with cardiovascular health or autoimmune issues or strength training or what have you. Um, so we had on this guest, it's like Two podcasts ago, two episodes ago, I, I very much recommend it. Although sadly, I don't, I don't remember um, his guest name at the moment. Names are not my strong point. But um, she was talking about how women suffer more from a wide variety of diseases: um, autoimmune, thyroid, hormonal issues of various kinds, digestive issues. And um, and then kind of moved on to other things, which is fair. And they talked for three hours and couldn't begin to cover every interesting subject there was. But um, it occurred to me that all of the things she listed when she was talking about problems that women suffer more from are issues that are also um, hugely influenced by modern lifestyle factors. And, uh, you know, I was, I was wondering, like, could it really be that women are inherently less healthy, more likely to suffer from disease or from specific diseases when, um, to the best of our knowledge, to the best of my understanding of uh, current scientific knowledge in pre-modern societies, um, men and women had roughly similar mortality rates with, um, women's deaths and childbirth being not uh, too much more than men dying from violence, which were considered to be the two main causes of death other than, uh, you know, eventual infection and old age. Um, and we know that women are a great deal more resilient to a number of environmental stressors, whether that's uh, situations of starvation, of cold, of various kinds of privation and it got me thinking what if the reason that women suffer so much worse health um, in our society like in the society that I live in is because our society is much as it's not set up for human beings it's even less set up for women um, you know we know that that's the case with all sorts of specific uh, specific points regarding safety, health, and what have you, that um, seat belts are designed for men's bodies, women are far more likely to die in car crashes, that um, a lot of medication is tested for and uh, works best on male bodies, um, you know, things like uh, the symptoms of women's heart attack in women uh, being less widely known, but 
when we're talking about diseases where one of the main influences is lifestyle and behavior, um, whether that's nutrition, um, uh, physical exercise, exposure to the correct sort of environmental stressors, uh, physical and emotional stress. Um, you know, if we're, if we're living in a society that places more of the wrong kinds of stress on women and is less well set up to support women's natural needs in terms of nutrition and movement, um, then it's no wonder that women suffer more from diseases of affluence and or diseases of uh, modern, modern lifestyle, lack of movement, and so on. Um, so there, that's the thought I had. And uh, I wanted to share it. And I would love to hear if you have any thoughts or opinions about that. Uh, send me a message or uh, send me a messenger pigeon. Shout really loud and let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs>